Welcome back everyone. This is Mr. Lindsay with another um, video here on drawing and this one here we will try to draw our own robot. Um, I want to show you an artist though who did a lot of futuristic like paintings and he did this quite a while ago. His artwork was really really popular in like the 50s and 60s and 70s. So um, let me show you some artwork by an artist named Robert T. McCall. Okay, Robert T. McCall was born in 1919 and he passed away in 2010. He was from Columbus, Ohio. He loved to study astronomy, which is the study of outer space basically, and just something he was always interested in, but he was really an artist. Um, some things that he accomplished during his life, making um, designs for posted stamps, and he would design outer space themes for that. And he did that because it was around a time where there was a lot of space exploration happening, like the first man on the moon, and that was something that he designed a, a painting of. Um, he also did things for movies. This is an older movie called 2001 A Space Odyssey. He designed posters and all sorts of things for that movie. Star Trek, he helped design things for Star Trek as an artist. He also did these really, really large murals. And murals are basically large paintings on walls. And he did those for a lot of different places, but really most well known for the National Air and Space Museum in DC. There's murals that he did there. Um, so these are all things that he's accomplished over his life, but some of his artwork look like this what it might look like if we lived in outer space on other planets. And that was kind of what he, he did in a lot of his paintings, almost like what the future might look like. And he thought, well, if we lived in outer space, maybe we would have something like this in outer space where people lived, okay? Or maybe this is us on another planet. Okay, another one, like we are living on another planet, and this is what it might look like. So his own imaginary version of what it might look like if we lived in outer space on another planet. So his idea of the future, these big domes, because we know that there's not oxygen to breathe, so these domes would be formed to have the oxygen, and then inside it looks like somebody farming. Okay, and then he did some more paintings about real life things, like when man did make it to the moon and he painted pictures of these scenes. Okay, this is a, an example of a mural. I wanted to show you this so you can see how large a mural really is. This is Robert T. McCall when he was younger and he's standing on a platform so he can reach way up high on this giant wall that he was painting. Okay, oops, that's the last one. So. Anyways, just to give you some ideas of the kinds of things he would do, they look like a futuristic type uh, outer space scene. Sometimes they were more realistic though, like this, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and just use that idea of kind of a futuristic like art project. And I wanted to try to draw our own robot. I thought that would be kind of cool. So this is what we're gonna do. We are going to create our own robot. I have a page here that I will have available. So you could work from this or you could create your own. This gives you some ideas though. So this page is just some different ideas for how to get started, like starting off with a shape for the head. Okay, adding details to the head like antennas, the face in different ways. This one has little bows on the corner. So just different things you could do. This one has one eye, some of them have two. This one has electricity going through to both antennas. So they're just ideas to get you started. Once you have a head kind of ready to go, then the next step would be to add larger shapes for the body. I just tried a few different shapes just to get the idea of what we could do. So these are a little different. So you have a few different ideas. Um, sometimes I think of um, what can I use that is something that's electronic and how can I add that to my robot? Like this one here looks like it could be a microwave maybe, or there's a clock on the center of this one. Um, you could do all sorts of things with different electronics and kind of include them into your robot. 
I like to add antennas to mine too. Okay. Then there's another row of different types of arms and legs that you can create. Some have fingers, some don't. Some have like two um, little claws here, like it would grip things with those. Um, some of the legs and feet, some have regular feet, some have wheels. Okay, this one I tried to make look like it was like a rocket so it could fly. So different ideas for how you can create those arms and legs and add them to your robot. And then I want you to think about something that I think is important. What can your robot do? What makes it so special? What can it actually do? Well, maybe this one can cook my dinner. There's a microwave right there or an oven, so that's something it could do. This one could be an alarm clock. Maybe that's something it does or one of its powers. And like I said, down here, this one here has rockets for feet, so that could fly. So that robot might be able to fly and do different things. So just ideas to get you started, but I want you to kind of create your own detailed robot. Okay, so I'm going to draw a little bit and make one up just kind of based on my sheet of ideas. So this is one of the robot heads I like the most right here. So maybe I'll try something like that to start mine. So just to show you how to get going, you would start with the head shape. And don't make the head too big because you still need room for the body and legs and arms. Okay, so that's a good size. Um, one, two eyes, that's kind of up to you. Maybe my robot just has one eye. I kind of like the way that one looks. Different ways to do antennas. There's all sorts of them. Okay, this one had two with electricity kind of going through to each antenna. But there's all sorts of different ways you can make the antennas. Okay, and then I kind of did this on mine. There we go. I didn't put a mouth on my original one, but I could add a mouth to this. It doesn't have to be empty. So maybe this one does have a mouth. I'll add that. I skipped that in my other one, but I'll add it in this one. There we go. There's my robot's head. Now, you need some sort of a neck before you attach it to the rest. So maybe I'll draw a couple little rectangular pieces there to start the neck. Now you would be on to the body. What kind of a body shape do you want for your robot? Well, that's up to you. Maybe I will do, um, I could even make it look like a cell phone. That'd be kind of cool because it's another electronic device. So maybe I start off with kind of a rectangle shape, but the corners curve a little bit comes down like this, curves around. I'm just kind of making this up as I go, okay? They can all look a little different. This is going to be the sides, the top, the bottom, okay? I could have some sort of a little camera here, maybe. Maybe a little button on the side. There we go, something like that. I could have on the body, I mean, if it was going to look like a phone, I could make it look like numbers. I could make it look like the screen where I'm dialing. I could make it look like there's little pictures of apps on there. There's all sorts of things I can do. Maybe I'll imagine that there's numbers on mine. And I will add some of those, okay, just for fun. So it's not empty. Okay, and I could continue with that. Um, now I'm on to arms and legs. I have a whole bunch of ideas for how you could do arms and legs. That's kind of up to you. Do you want it to look like it can grab things with these two little claws there? Do you want it to have fingers? What are you thinking for your arms? There's a bunch of ways you could do that. Um, let's see, for mine, I'm going to do this one here. It has a circle for a shoulder and another circle for a shoulder. Okay, and then this sample that I had, the arm comes out like this on each side. And then it gets a little thicker here. And then I put a little bit of a half circle on the end and then this part 
is where I added the fingers, or I could add something like this. There we go. Those are the arms I chose. Okay, so if I'm thinking about things my robot can do, it could take pictures with that camera. I could use it like a phone. It could make phone calls for me. So far, those are some of the things it could do. Maybe these antenna make it so it can also be like a radio and I can hear music. So my robot maybe can play music. I'm just thinking of some different things. And I like those rocket legs where it looks like it could fly. So let me try that. I'm going to put a little base here for the beginning of the legs. Okay. And those would be really short legs. If I wanted to, I could add two wheels here and make it look like it had wheels and it could... It could uh, just roll around and move around with wheels. But I'm going to add these legs, make them a little longer. Connect. Connect. Okay. And then just for fun, I'll add some details so it's not too plain. These could be like little rivets that are holding the metal together on my robot. Okay. And then the next piece of the leg maybe is attached with another circle and then I have the next part of my leg coming down and on mine instead of having normal shoes or feet mine is going to have something that makes it look like it can fly so there we go it's like a rocket, so mine could fly around. It doesn't have normal legs and feet. My robot can fly. So there's a little bit there to get you started. I want to see what you can come up with and how creative you can be. This is kind of a fun project because if you finished it quickly, you could easily make more. You could make a whole series of robots. So I want to see how creative you can be and see what kind of robot you can come up with and what can your robot do.